Hi, I'm Tom Thornburg. I'm 80 years old, and uh, it's a new me. I'm going from 80 to 60, I feel like. My wife and I were going to dinner and I wasn't feeling well. I went to the emergency room at Lakeland Regional. They admitted me for a heart attack. It wasn't too long after that that I got an infection in the left side of the chest where the defibrillator was placed and Dr. Kavish had to relocate it to the right side of my chest. A little more complicated uh, scenario of putting the wires in place. Could not get the third wire, which was in the original configuration and leveled the, the heartbeat. So my ejection factor, EF, which I've learned now, learned a lot about the heart, had gone from 40 after the original implant of the uh, defibrillator. It fell to a dangerously low 24. My next visit with Dr. Kavish, he kind of enlightened me about a new procedure uh, called a CRT and said that I was an ideal candidate because my, my EF had dropped to 24 and he said, uh, Tom, we've got this new procedure that is a, it's a trial procedure and, uh, and we think you're an ideal candidate and I said, well, can you do it today? Patients who are candidates for this trial are patients with advanced heart failure for whom conventional technology has not been effective, particularly patients who have indications for cardiac resynchronization therapy, which means that their heart is not only weakened but is dyssynchronous, that the lower chambers are not working in a coordinated fashion. They proceeded with the, uh, with the operation, which involved a battery packed under the skin a transmitter beneath the ribs, and a very small receiver in my left ventricle. He said it was about the size of a piece of, of rice, so it's very tiny. This new technology is a co-implant that works together with a previously implanted pacemaker or defibrillator. Uh, the previously implanted device has the job of pacing the right lower chamber. The new technology, the new device, uh, is a device in which an electrode is implanted inside the wall, inside the chamber of the left lower uh, heart, and then by sensing the electrical activity of the co-implant and delivering ultrasonic energy to the receiver electrode, we're able to pace the left ventricle, the left lower chamber, in a coordinated way with the right lower chamber. And then we can have both the right lower chamber and the left lower chamber working together in a coordinated way to make the heart work uh, better and more efficiently. I just can't tell you how quickly I felt much better. It's all, all behind me now. It's a wonderful, wonderful feeling thanks to everyone involved. So it's a real departure from existing technology. And yes, I do think it would represent a substantial advance uh, in what can be offered to patients if the trial is positive, yes. Mm -hmm.